uh, listening to scar tissue. Uh, Anthony Kiedis from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Story. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I, I just relate so deeply to his battle with the darkness, his battle with addiction. He speaks, he spe he, yeah, he puts it in a beautiful way, I guess. In a way I wasn't able to frame it when I was writing my book, Limitless, Reconnecting with the Infinite Power Within. Um, <clears throat> you know, I talked about self-medicating because of pain. It's just this immense pain that I couldn't live with. I, I just felt like it was this monster this ball of self-hatred and worthlessness um, inside myself that would only shut the fuck up when I take drugs you know but just hearing Anthony Kiedis talk about it and um, how far down that hole he went you know like the rock star lifestyle and his exposure to that stuff from such a young age um, trying to then chase that high trying to recreate that state that that synthetic state of pseudo bliss it's a, it's a, it's a fucking monster man um, yeah as I said in my book I might this was such a blessing um, when I came out of my coma there was just this pivotal moment when I looked into my mum's eyes and the resolve that I could never get that I just couldn't quite tap before my near death experience this moment when I looked into my mum's eyes, I felt her agony and something just flicked in my brain. This catalyst was, was my mum's hurt. And I swore on my soul that that was that. I wouldn't go back. And... Um, I guess the warning or the amount of pain I'd suffered through was enough to make that decision once and for all, you know. Um, people have said to me, oh, no one makes it back, man. No one makes it back from where you were at. Um, complete junkie and it's BS. It's... Um, it's to do with finding meaning, finding purpose in this existence. When you, when I was at, when I was able to tap into immense appreciation to have this breath again, to have this opportunity to have round two in the thing called life. I just coupled that with mum's mum's hurt, responsibility, and every time I touch my face, it's you know it's forty two pieces of titanium. It's a beautiful little reminder. Like it's not the New Year's resolution, if you know what I mean. It's not like I'm going to do this thing from now until I check out. This metal is just here, like, I can just touch my face and feel all the screws in there. <clears throat> and that's the consequence of the way I was living, you know? So, yeah, what a journey. I, I wouldn't change any of it. I wouldn't take any of it back. 
this place I'm in now is the greatest life I could ever imagine. And just my path, I had to go through that. You know, I did this to myself. Um, and I wouldn't have it any other way now. When you come back into the heart and that heart's open and you feel that love, something, it's within. It's in you. This like light inside yourself. Not, um, it's not conditional. It's not based on what's happening out there or I've got a thing or I've got an object or, you know, it's not about the life story. It's just some thing in my soul that has not faded since I popped out of that coma. But yeah, it's been a hell of a journey, you know. Hell of a journey. I think ultimately I was always just searching for that that reconnection. Just I was searching for self-love. I wanted to feel that I mattered. That's it. Yeah, I wanted to feel that I actually mattered and I guess scaring all the people that love me, hurting myself so badly, I, yeah, I got that reconnection. You know, someone said to me the other day, like, the universe can't give you a bigger warning. There's no bigger slap in the head. Um, than a near-death experience. So I just knew I had a responsibility to that higher power, that, that higher consciousness, I should say. And like flicking a light switch, I knew that this life is the most sacred gift that we can ever receive. And I knew that the pain would be my teacher I knew that the agony and the years and years and years of healing and recovery somehow was going to be a beautiful gift. And I knew this within half an hour of coming out of that coma. I just had years and years of um, painful and emotionally tumultuous times ahead of me. But they've all made me who I am now. This is it's the wisdom, man. This is the diamond. When you, when you find that jewel, that gift that's in your, your line of time, your story, you free the past. And all you carry from the past is the teaching. Which is why I say it's the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Truly a beautiful gift. So, yeah, thank you, Anthony Kiedis. Um, the way you shared your story and your vulnerability, talking about your addiction as well. Right. Something I was so ashamed of for so many years and some, some a beautiful soul um, that I crossed paths with said, so Damien, my friend, that is who you were. Is not who you are. You know, you've always done the best you could. So her words really helped lift some of that shame off my chest. And in the end, yeah, I, I won't change a thing. Not a single thing. Because if I change anything, I'm not who I am right now. And I'm proud of myself and I love this life. So, yeah, guys. Um... New record coming very soon. That's it. Much love.